Lives of Our Saints. On the 8th of October, our church celebrates the Feast of Saint Pelagia. The following are some thoughts on her life and works. Born into immense wealth in the city of Antioch, Syria, Pelagia grew up in a class whose sensual sins were an affront, not only to the rest of society, but to God as well. She took such delight in every form of wickedness that the respectable people of Antioch strongly suspected that her great beauty and wealth was derived from Satan. Pelagia spent her Sabbath on a pleasure-seeking tour, born in a carriage drawn by a quartet of the finest Arabian horses, and would have passed the cathedral without incident had the faithful been within its walls, but on that fateful day an unusually large crowd had spilled out into the courtyard because of the presence of a prominent bishop. The bishop's voice carried out to the street, and out of curiosity Pelagia stopped to hear what was being said. The bishop's theme must have been salvation, and whatever the aim of his words, they found a target in the curious beauty sitting in the coach. Her curiosity turned to interest, and that into a deep sense of regret, which eventuated in her seeking out the bishop, thereafter to be baptised by him, and with a sincere repentance to become a Christian. Renouncing her past... Belayer began her new life by giving away every scrap of her possessions which she had in abundance and turning her back on the leisure that might prove her ruin. She undertook to cleanse her soul and to serve God with all her heart. In the disguise of a monk, with much of a radiant face concealed, she commenced to serve God by secluding herself in the desert and devoting herself to the study of religion, philosophy and theology. Realising that to expose her beautiful face in the company of females would be to invite embarrassment, no matter how well-intentioned the women may be, Pelagia reasoned that her only assurance of achieving a reasonable proximity to God was to go it alone. She realised a cherished dream when she was allowed to enter Jerusalem, there to abide for three years in an unceasing supplication for forgiveness and deliverance. When she finally emerged from this holy ground, she was a spectacle of piety, with such beauty of soul that it exceeded her fair countenance, and to speak with her about the Lord would be like being given a first-hand account of heaven and the Holy Spirit. There was an aura of purity about her that belied her reckless youth. For 58 years that remained of a long life, she remained a symbol of the power of God to transform a sinner to a saint. She died a peaceful death in the year 284 A.D.